Hey, what's up guys? So I just bought this giant whiteboard, right? And I thought it'd be kind of cool if I made a bunch of different videos using the whiteboard to help you understand different BMX specs. So welcome to the BMX specs video series. If there's something that you have a specific question about, don't forget, just leave a comment and I'll make sure that I address it. If you like learning from me and you think it's kind of fun, uh, I'm working on a project called BMX School. And what it is, is it just goes really in depth and teaches you everything that you need to know to take yourself from here, beginner rider, all the way to here, like a high level rider where you can do crazy tricks on demand, maybe get some sponsors and make some money doing what you love, riding your bike. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down in the description. Uh, I'm working on it still, so fill out the form and I'll send you email updates as it progresses. And then I'll also make sure to get you in for a special deal since you were an early sign up person. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to be talking about chain stay. Now, in the previous video, we talked about top tube, and now we're going to talk about this guy right here, which is the chain stay. The chain stay affects how you manual, how you hop, how you spin. It affects so many different things. And when you're first looking for a brand new BMX bike, uh, you probably don't put much thought into it. I, I never did. I didn't know what the chain stay was until a couple years ago, and I've been riding for 10 years. So I'm gonna go in depth and tell you about the different chain stay sizes and how it's gonna affect your riding. Stay tuned. So the chain stay. Now this is that part right here. It runs from your bottom bracket and secures your back wheel. Now the length of the chain stay affects how your bike controls. And what I mean by that is like, let's say you're jumping this jump. This is real fire. I drew it, okay? Now, you're going to land over here. Hopefully, you have enough speed. You're going to land, okay? Now, depending on how you land, maybe you've done this before, but you land a little back tire heavy, meaning that your front wheel is up here and your back wheel is here. I'm not going to draw the rest of the bike, but you get it, right? So, if your chain stay is really short, your bike is going to loop this way just because there's not as much stability. So you're gonna land like this, you're gonna loop this way, and you're gonna die. That's no fun, right? Oh look, there's an eraser here. Okay, but now let's say that it's, it's a longer chain stay, okay? And you land like this. Now chances are you can pull out of it, and gravity, that's a terrible arrow, but gravity is gonna set your front wheel down. And this is why trail bikes or trail specific frames have a lot longer of a chain stay. But what do you think the perks are of a shorter chain stay? You think you can spin faster? Or maybe that loop ability will help you with backflips? You're right. Okay, so park riders generally are gonna be riding a shorter chain stay and trail riders or flowy park riders are gonna have that longer chain stay. Because similar to the top tube, the short chain stay is going to give it a snappy and a responsive feeling. Meaning, 720s are going to be super easy. Pulling back, getting into a manual is really easy. However, looping out is also very easy. So if you need to have a lot of control, and this goes back to what I was saying on the top tube video about high airs. Pulling off for high airs or hopping high requires a long chain stay because you can pull that bike up higher without looping out. And this is really important. So you have to find a perfect balance there. Now, if you want the longer chain stay, this is going to be a more controlled and flowy feeling. So think about riders, again, like Corey Walsh. He's going to combine probably a 21.3 inch top tube with 
a 14 something chain stay. Okay, he's way down here on that long end. But homie also airs crazy high. Now Logan Martin is probably on a 12.3 inch chain stay. He's also a shorter guy, but he needs to have that responsive feeling. Okay, now a good balance size, if you're kind of unsure, is going to be 13 inch. But for new riders, I really would recommend being right around here. Uh, so for example, the Colt Devotion, the Colt Control, the Colt Access, they're all going to come with a 13.65 inch chain stay. And the reason they do this is so that new riders have a lot more control on the bike and they're not always worried about looping out or crashing and having a bad day. So they build this in to give you more control. Now, some of the park specific bikes like the Fit Park. So it's right at a 12.6 inch chain stay. And that's gonna give that bike a really responsive and a really snappy feeling. So you can learn spins a lot quicker. You can snap around the park and just different things like that. But you need to ask yourself, what kind of rider do I wanna be? What kind of riding do I plan to do? And then look at that chain stay when you're buying your new bike. And that's really gonna help you become a better rider and take it to the next level. Because now you're not just learning how to learn tricks, you're also learning how to leverage the tool, which is your bike. You're learning how to leverage that to become a better rider yourself. And this is super important. The last thing I wanna mention is that there's a couple different terms that you might see when you're looking at the chain stay on a bike. One of those terms is slammed. And it might say 13 inch slammed. And what that means is the back wheel, I'm gonna be a righty for a second. Okay, this is your dropouts. Okay, that's where the wheel goes. Now slammed is if you have your back wheel all the way up here. From here to the bottom bracket is gonna be 13 inches. And what that means is that you have about this much room here to make it longer or shorter. So usually 13 inch slam is gonna be a 13.5 all the way out, but nobody rides it all the way out there. Uh, you usually ride it around there. So keep that in mind. Some of them will say 13 inches on center instead of on slammed, and now you know the difference. So again, figuring out the chain stay, the way it helps you ride, helps you do different tricks is super important. If you have any questions about some other specs that are confusing, leave a comment. And also be on the lookout somewhere here in this video, there's gonna be a playlist button and it's gonna take you to all the BMX specs videos so you can educate yourself. With that guys, have a great day and enjoy BMX.